Clormel, France, population 9,791 as of January 2019. Located in the region of Brittany in the far northwest of France, it is a working class town surrounded by farms. They have some industrial plants there, as well as schools, places to eat, several supermarkets, and a McDonald's. Are you dying to plan your visit yet? Even the tourism office listing on Google Maps directs you to a website that talks about all the cool places to go and things to do outside of Plowermel. Man, really. Poor old Plowermel just can't catch a break. Until now. I'm here to tell you that this small, sort of southeast of central Brittany town has a lot to offer. You might just want to stay a while. It's easy to feel at home in Plowermel. The Lac au Duc, one of the biggest lakes in Brittany, came to life in the 15th century when it was fashioned by hand using the outflow of the River Ivelle. Today, its waters are used for all sorts of recreation, agricultural applications, hunting, fishing, and even for drinking water. There is a path called the Balade des Hortensias that stretches for about three quarters of a mile winding along its eastern bank and then back along the other side of the blue-green golf course. There are an astounding 5,500 hydrangea bushes representing 550 different species pleasantly scattered all along the path amongst a multitude of other plants, flowers, bushes, and trees. It's a very pleasant path for a leisurely stroll, a good brisk walk, a jog, or a bike ride. No horse is allowed, but you can bring your dog along if you're mindful of a couple of basic rules. This is one of many works that was showcased in an outdoor exhibition spread along the trails bordering the Lac au Duc. This is Manoir de la May by Isabelle Dufil. The path back to the start of the Ballade des Hortensias is actually part of a 31 mile long section of bike path that was repurposed from an old railroad line. This trail is known as the Vela Route or Bike Route Number 3 or the Voie Verte or Greenway Moron Kestember and runs in between those two towns. It's also part of a larger network of over 800 miles of similar paths in Brittany. So if a parent tells a child, go ride your bike in this neck of the woods, they best not reply that there's nowhere to go. I walked many miles along and around this trail, and many times found myself surrounded in nature and completely alone for as far as I could see, with nothing but the sound of birds singing in the trees. Highly, highly, highly recommended. The Voie Verte Moron Kestember Trail is nearly 10 feet wide, asphalt paved, and very well maintained. Pro tip. Just off the trail to the southwest of Plowermel, where the D-122 crosses over the Ninian River, there's a little dead-end road you can walk down that follows the river downstream a ways. It terminates at a very private and peaceful spot beside the river, at the border of a local farm, with the trails leading up into the hills to the east. Having awesome nature walks that begin just across the street from my stay was certainly a highlight, but what drew me back to Plower Mill from my most recent stay was the outdoor market that's held every Friday in and around the Place du Tribunal. I first experienced this market some years ago, the morning after a one-night stopover, and was seriously impressed. It's not like they have unicorns prancing around, or firewalkers, or medieval sword fights, at least not on most days. It's just that they have so much stuff, and it's all so good. Fruits, veggies, meats, fish, sweets, baked goods, dairy products, flowers, clothing. There are so many vendors. Multiple vendors sell hot and ready-to-eat foods like crepes and galettes, paella, choucroute, tartiflette, Chinese, Thai, and Indian foods. The list goes on. It's a great place to get local, farm-fresh, high-quality, and delicious food at reasonable prices. One of my favorite foods at the market is the Fruit de Bois, or berry-flavored sheep's milk yogurt from Geek Le Berbi. Absolutely stunning. Their sheep's milk cheese is really good, too. This is one of many stands selling fruits and veggies that are both locally grown and sourced from other countries, 
to ensure a good variety throughout the seasons. One of the things I love most about France, not being at all religious myself, is that most towns have a church or two that you can visit most any time, whether a service is in session or not. Regardless of your thoughts or feelings regarding any religion, these buildings are temples to the history of human civilization and are often full of wonderful artworks, stained glass, paintings, sculptures, tapestries, and the Eglise saint armel is no exception. Aside from the aforementioned attributes, it has a wooden ceiling, gargoyle water spouts that seem to stick out a country mile, and a very cozy and inviting feeling to it. It's a great place to stop by and just sit for a while, or wander around in a maze at all the art, especially on days that are either cold and wet or a little too warm. The winter months in Plowermel have a generally light but frequently persistent breeze, making this a great place to escape that too. Is there more to Plowermel? Of course there is. You can go to Kebab Chez Tonton 56 for a great meal, and honestly, the very best housemade harissa I've ever had. Need a baguette on Sunday and everyone is closed? Omiette de Perlimpinpin has a baguette vending machine right outside their door. Fresh French bread 24-7. The medieval old town in the main village is well worth a stroll. Just steps away from the town center, you can check in on the progress of the restoration of the 17th century convent, the Couvent des Carmelites. A very short walk away from there is the statue of Pope John Paul II, which caused quite a stir in 2006 when this gifted sculpture was installed as it violated a 100-year-old French law separating church and state. There are, of course, museums as well, like the Museum of Natural Sciences, the Museum of the Breton Resistance, the Museum of the Junkyard Poet, and everyone's favorite the astronomical clock with its mechanical model of our solar system. Plowermel also has a bowling alley, a movie theater, and tons of local soccer matches to watch at the Stade Municipal Patrick Cayo, as well as the aforementioned golf course and lake with all of its recreation options. Plowermel also puts on the largest carnival in central Brittany, as well as the Fête de la Musique, the Fête du Vélo, the Fête de la Nature, the Fête du Marché, and the Festival Brocelan Sport Nature. In English, that's a music festival, a cycling festival, a nature festival, an outdoor market festival, and an outdoor sports festival, and that's just in May and June. Of course, there are awesome sights to see outside of Plowermel. Jocelyn is an absolute must-see, with its fairy tale castle, the Chateau de Jocelyn, perched above a delightful stretch of the River Oust which forms part of the Nantes-to-Brest Canal. Not to mention its gorgeous town center and basilica. The medieval village of Malastra features dreamlike stretches of the Nantes-to-Brest Canal and the River Oust and is also worth a visit. The Brocelan Forest is full of magic and the legends of King Arthur, Merlin the Wizard, Sir Lancelot, and more. These are just a few of the great places to go that are very close by. But to say there's nothing to do in Plowermel? That, my friend, is quite simply a myth. <laughs>